I'll do. Tom here. Thought I'd uh, come to you this evening with a tobacco review. So I've not filled up my pipe yet because I'm literally down to the last bit. I wanted to show you the tobacco. So the tobacco I'm reviewing is one that I mentioned in my previous video and it is Dan Tobacco Tumbling Dice. Now it's a Virginia break and it's cube cut. It comes in these little like a paint tin. And as you can see, yeah, I'm down to the last of it really. So this tobacco, like I said, is cube cut. I'll try to find you some cubes if there's any still intact because a lot of what's in the last of this tin is uh, what I uh, put back in after I've filled my bowl so you see useless tiny little cubes like that and that's all this tobacco is Uh, slightly fancier way of having ready rubbed I guess so I'm going to load it into my Northern Briars Quebec which a moment please to appreciate this pipe but I'm not even sure if I've shown you guys this before I've had it a couple of years anyway but um, I can't remember precisely when I bought it Sure, it must have been a special occasion, maybe a Christmas present or a birthday, perhaps a birthday. I like to treat myself on my birthday. I don't really care about Christmas, you know. No, I've never been a fan. Um, but birthdays, that's different. I think you should be good to yourself on your birthday. Unless, you know... You're a Jehovah's Witness, in which case, you know, you're not allowed to celebrate. So, but still be good to yourself anyway. Being good to yourself isn't always a celebration, right? It's just being good. Um, pipe is filled. So with a cube cup, I don't know if this is the correct way of doing things, but I just uh, shove it in. Try and get the chunky bits towards the bottom, the finer bits towards the top. My solver is to it on my lighting. Easy as that. As this is like the end of the tin, this is sort of the drier bits. But the tobacco is naturally quite dry. So when you first crack open the can, don't be alarmed if the tobacco is dry. You know, the seal will have been fine. It's just that's the way the tobacco is. As you can see, quite voluminous the smoke, and this tobacco for me, this is one that the further down the tin I get, the richer it gets. Now, I would say this could easily be an all day smoke if you are a big time aficionado of vapours. Which I am, because this is all there is in this is Virginia and Perique. There's no topping, there's no Cavendish, there's no Kentucky, just Virginia's Perique. That's it. So 
So the flavors you're getting, you're getting your typical Virginia flavors. Grass, hay, that kind of thing. You get your sort of breadiness as well from the Virginias, but you also get a kind of fruity, pruney, raisiny taste as well. Which will be the Perique. And it's uh, mild to medium. Um, you could easily smoke it in a larger pipe like I'm doing now. Um, and it's not going to make your head spin. It's not that particularly strong in terms of nicotine. Um, but you can also smoke it in a smaller pipe if you want a quicker smoke. Like I've been using this Bones quite a bit. Um, try to get it to colour up, but it doesn't seem to be... Uh, working all that well for me right now um but yeah you can safely and assuredly put it into a larger pipe and you're good to go i've never had a hint of bite from this tobacco so you don't have to gingerly sip it like you might do with some virginias It just uh, smokes really well, really well behaved. Burns down to a fine white ash, as you know, as we like them to do. Very clean tasting blend. There's some uh, serious potential in terms of cellaring on this blend. I can imagine it just gets better with age. I would have thought five years on this blend will really make it shine. This one was produced in October 2019, so not really any age on it, but it still smokes great. Like I said, once that seal's been uh, cracked, that's when you get uh, full flavour after about two weeks or so. It just gets richer. But it's a cracking blend. Definitely one that could quite easily sit in my regular rotation. And like I say, I could smoke it, you know, exclusively, or I could uh, get through it day to day. Um, I don't find it boring anyway. I always find it a good smoke. And I think as well, with it being cube cut, it um, sometimes like the flavours you get might differ depending on what's gone into the bone because it's different sections of tobacco and can be different constituencies, um, especially if you're a bit haphazard like I am and don't really concentrate when you're filling up a bone. But yeah, it's got an almost creamy richness to it, which you don't often get. One blend I do find that with quite consistently is uh, HU Tobacco Louisiana Broken. That's uh, something a little bit different, which deserves a video all of its own, which I will get to eventually. Because as I'm finding that, my tastes are sort of gearing more and more towards, towards Virginia Periques. Um, I'm imagining most of my <laughs> reviews are going to be Virginia Periques. Um, not, not exclusively, but that'll be where my um, channel direction goes, mainly in terms of reviews, I think. But um, this one, Tumbling Dice, I'll show you the tin one more time. Um, Easily, I would give this a four, four and a half out of five. It's a, it's a cracker. It really is. It's not um, it's not going to be one of those ones that, like, I don't know, say, uh, let's say, for example, it's not like medium flake where I could quite happily just smoke that and nothing else. Or like Tilbury, that's one like that. I could just pretty much smoke that exclusively if I could get a hold of it um, but um, this one 
yeah, it's still good. Um, and the readily availability of it, at least from Germany, um, is a big plus point. But yeah. Are any blends perfect? I don't give many a five out of five, but four, four and a half. Let's go four and a half. That's still a very respectable score, um, and quite a lot of tobaccos don't even get that from me. But um, yeah, that's my prattling on done for the evening. I'm going to continue smoking this, and I will speak to you all again on the next video. See you all soon. Cheers.